Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I did it. Hello, my dear people. So if you have been following me for a while now, you may have watched this video, which I've been unboxing and having my first impressions about RK71. And that was my one and only mechanical keyboard. So that means I ain't an expert about mechanical keyboards. But after a few months, I realized I have reached thousands of people and they have been asking me to build a keyboard. Well, I think only one asked me. So let's have this journey together and let's start! research about mechanical keyboards and they said that the best budget keyboard is TOM680 or TM680. I don't know actually what's the correct name and I can't find the name on this box. It says here it's K4. Is this fake? So this is the TOM680. This is a 65% layout and what's cool about this keyboard is it has a knob. There is a manual inside. There is a braided type A to type C cable. Here's the 2.4 GHz dongle. And of course, the keyboard. It is a hot swappable PCB so it can fit 3 or 5 pins, switches. And this is wireless try mode. So there are two wireless ways. First is the Bluetooth connection and the other one is the 2.4 GHz connection. And the other way is the wired, of course. So since we're building a keyboard, we have free will. So the next thing we need to do is to find switches. These are Akko CS switches in lavender purple. So I just want to say these packaging are so beautiful. I could reuse this. So this lavender purple is tactile switches i'm a fan of tactile switches i love that bump so i wanted to try this keyboard without lubing it so i can see the difference when i have lubed the switches and also disclaimer i will not mod anything i will just try to build and they said that the wireless one is really fragile when you try to open the keyboard so since i'm a first timer i don't want to break my first build so sorry for that if you want me to put some foam in it I don't have time for that and I'm just scared so let's put on our keycaps so this is the Thai house spring in Kyoto PBT double shot keycaps so if you have watched my last keyboard video you may have find this familiar because I haven't bought another keycap I really like it I'm not mad at this. I can actually use this without lubing it because I'm not really used to lubing. Alright, so I said before that we're not gonna mod anything, but let's give this a little try and let's see if it is fun or exhausting. Let's try to lube the switches. <laughs> Only the switches though. Again, I'm not going to mod the board and I'm not going to lube the stabilizers also. So if you are a mechanical keyboard enthusiast, I'm sorry that I'm disappointing you right now. Alright, so I don't want to buy other accessories because this is a budget keyboard. So these are the only tools that I have. So for the lube, I have here the Kirtox GPL206. I have a brush and I have a switch opener. So that's it. I don't have any lube station. I'm just going to reuse this plastic from the Echo box. So it will be a little organized. So at first, I tried lubing it one by one. I 
I try to do this fast trick to loop the springs? I think it is faster if you try to open up the switches first and then loop them. So I think it took me 2 hours just to loop all these switches. But is it just me or I'm not having a good time? Well, maybe because I don't have complete tools. That's why my thumb is already numb. It doesn't feel anything anymore. I've started to ask about my existence. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? I don't know. I think this hobby is not for me. I think it's better just to buy a lube switches already and then I'll just put it in. Alright, so I'm done lubing the switches and now I have to put back the keycaps. And syempre, hindi makukompleto ang ating mechanical keyboard without artisan keycaps. So, meron po tayong keycaps from Likha at Gawa PH. Likha at Gawa PH is a local store here in the Philippines. Philippines. They have a Facebook page and they are also available on Shopee. They are making handmade artisan keycaps and they also accept commissions on custom keycaps. I decided na maging sweet theme dang ating keyboard ngayon. And wow! Meron pa tayo freebie, libring stickers. Ayan, sobrang cute! Meron tayong card from them and may konting instructions to take care of your keycaps. Ay, grabe, ang dami naman freebie. Thank you so much po. And rest in keycap siya. Sobrang ganda nito. So, tanggalin na natin itong layer na to. Let's reveal our keycaps. Our artisan keycaps. There you go! <laughs> Sabi ko nga kasi diba gusto ko ng sweet themed. So, meron tayong strawberry milkshake. Then, meron tayong strawberry na naman. <laughs> Mahilig tayo sa strawberry. Yeah. Strawberry na parang macaroon siya. Or sponge cake. And, meron tayong Pakina blueberry flavored. Sobrang cute. Usually kasi diba pink to or strawberry flavored. Pero puro na tayo strawberry eh. So maiba naman. <laughs> then ito yung pinaka na excite ako. Meron tayong artisan rotary knobs para sa ating Tom 680. Sobrang cool kasi bihira lang talaga ako makakita ng ganito. Yung usual is yung simple na metal lang. Ganyan. Pero wala talaga ako nakikita ang artisan na rotary Knob. So, I'm excited to put this in. Let's try it now. Oh, one warning though. I don't want you to have the same mistake that I had. If you want to replace your knob, you have to open the frame first so you can take out the original knob. So, I had to remove the keycaps and the switches again. <laughs> Let's do a quick test of how it sounds like. Wow, there's actually a difference. I am so happy and thank you for being here on my journey. So guys, what do you think of this build? Do you hate it? I think some of you hate it because I haven't done a foam mod, haven't replaced the stabilizers. They said that the stabilizers of Tom 680 is very cheap. But for me, it's kind of okay. I'm not that bothered. Again, thank you so much to Likha at Gawa PH for sending me these amazing keycaps. Although every time that I look at these, I'm craving for sweets. <laughs> so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Click on the notification button so you'll be updated on my new videos. I will try my best to upload every Sunday. But I work 6 days in a week. And sometimes I just want to rest on Sundays. I hope you understand guys. And comment down below if you have any video suggestions that you want me to do. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.